Hello guys, welcome to another brand new episode of Quarantine Tech Talk. I am your host Divya. If you guys are watching this series for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The link is given in the description. For today's episode, we have Nidin Mahesh with us. He is a freelance developer and has worked as a blockchain intern in TIFAC Core and Amrita WNA, where he experimented on IoT testbed to run blockchain network uh, to simulate energy trade. Uh, during his journey, he came across various technologies and an interesting one being the graph databases. Uh, since databases are one of the uh, underlooked technologies, but it can it has the potential to decide how the stack will perform and engage users. So let us uh, get into the session and ask Nitin, what exactly is a graph database? Hi, Divya. Thank you for having me on your show. So what is great about database when people are talking about machine learning, deep learning, you may ask. So there is fundamentally only one aspect of database we explored for all our projects and taught for many generations, like including me, myself. For all the cool stuff, using data has been dominated by fancy words like AI and machine learning, you know. So there are more options to think about data than we already have been thinking for like for long. So, I will start with the first question. What exactly is a graph database and why do we need it? Key value, document oriented, column family, graph relational. Today, we seem to have many kinds of databases as there are kinds of data. While this makes uh, choosing the database harder, it makes choosing the right database easier. Of course, that does require doing your homework. You have got, your, uh, no, got to know your database. So one of the least understood type of database out there is the graph databases. Designed for working with highly interconnected data, a graph database might be described as more relational than a relational database. Uh, so I used InfluxDB and uh, Chronograph in my project. So tell me one thing, how is this graph database different from databases like MySQL and InfluxDB? So I've been using like multiple databases for all my freelance work like my SQL Postgres mainly. So I will I mean I will explain like how is graph database different from these databases. Like consider a situation when there are a lot of variation in relationship, like maintaining a database for your investigative journalism, or even fraud detection, or recommendation scripts which require individual examination of a relationship. And if you are doing those in like relation database, uh, like what I said, my SQL Postgres, this will require multiple joint statements, which is way more expensive in terms of computation power and human resource to maintain such a level of database, I mean complex database. So fundamental of this graph database is much different from this relational database. Hence, it is used, I mean, very useful in such peculiar cases. And graph traversal method on this data find relationship rather than storing them when querying chunks of similar records. So this enable performance even on large number of data to find the relationships, and this will enable the time uh, recommendation. I mean real time recommendation. Like we can use us in the, uh, use that in WNA also. Like we have some recommendation when there is a situation of uh, earthquake and stuff. We already have some devices. Okay, now I understand the difference. So can you give us few applications uh, which use graph database? There are multiple graph databases available in industry. The most popular framework and the one I use is Neo4j. It's an open source graph database used in companies like eBay, NASA, and even Walmart for the other and other popular uh, teams for their recommendation system. And it provides the Java and JavaScript and Python and C++ SDK to work with different API server stack. In my experience with using Neo4j, using Spring Boot Java API server was intimidating at the beginning where I had to go through multiple databases designed to get the effectiveness of using a graph database. As I mentioned, eBay and Walmart. As far as I know, they use this database along with their main stack of product recommendations for their customers in real time. On, a, on another note, like, um, okay, I would like to say this. The founder of uh, New FOJ mentioned the use of graph database in, to find the relationship of binomial transaction in the family members of Prime Minister of Iceland. 
and this prime minister eventually lost his power when this panama paper thing came in 2016 the uh, they used the address of binami owners and, and actual family members of the prime minister and found all the information a fake but they used the nearby address of the family members as a binami address so i believe this relationship could not be found from from a complex record of millions of files without a graph database in the year 2016 not 2020 so uh, is it possible to use programming languages like uh, java or python to implement graph databases so coming to graph database this uh, graph database modeling is uh, very different it can be model continually without having to perform costly schema changes as one would uh, for table based data for example in scenario where a new property is required for a particular relation this property can be simply added to the node like we draw on a whiteboard similar to that and this is all about graph database which i have to talk to you and if you have uh, something in detail you should know and you should like to know about this uh, ping me in whatsapp or email thank you so thank you nidin for your time and we hope to see you in the upcoming sessions also thank you viewers for listening to us if you guys have any doubt or want some more clarifications on this topic please feel free to connect to our team and before leaving please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also follow us on instagram and facebook pages uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos on quarantine tech talk